it's moving day. just gouged the boogie board. It is hot. It's gonna be another hot one. 100 degrees. 100. So today I wanted to talk about keeping your rabbits cool in the summer um, and while possibly rotationally grazing them like I am in rabbit tractors on the front lawn of my urban homestead. So water bottles, frozen water bottles, they will go through those really quickly. So get them back in the freezer because I never have enough two liter water bottles. We're not huge soda drinkers. Two, shade. Try to keep them under your trees, your shade trees. But I really only have like three shade trees in my front yard. We don't have shade. So shade really, really helps. Now, if you don't have shade and you have to keep them out in the open where there's no shade, these um, black trampoline mats that people discard are, are really good at increasing the shade, taking the temperature down. It really, really helps, okay? Four, frozen food. You can take out frozen food scraps to them. Frozen watermelon rinds, frozen apples, frozen carrots. Um, whatever else is okay for rabbits, right? Just freeze it and take it out to them later. Okay, constant supply of water seriously helps. Okay, uh, I have our umbrella, right? That gets blown around and it's pretty trashed. Yeah, it's not gonna last another season. That really helps as mobile shade that I can then move, you know, all over. Sometimes I can get up to four tractors covered with the one umbrella, right? Okay, uh, five. Something that people maybe don't talk about in the rabbit groups is I take our bath towels and I soak them in water and then I drape them over the, the tractors. It helps take the temperature down on the roof, but it also, as the water's dripping on the side and evaporating, it's like your swamp cooler effect, evaporative cooling. And they love that. Sometimes they, they climb up on the sides of the fencing and they'll lick at the towel. I know you can take out frozen ceramic floor tiles to them. Uh, I don't see mine loving that, uh, but that is an option, especially in hanging cages, right? And six. Six would be uh, breed for heat tolerance. Breed for heat tolerance, it's possible. You watch the ones that don't pant as much, the ones that don't struggle. I haven't seen any of my rabbits drooling this summer, which is really awesome. Um, the little rabbits, the, the grow out tractors, they have a bottle water or a big bowl, but they also have a small bowl so that they can get in there get in there too. Don't overcrowd. That's probably, is that six or seven? Don't overcrowd your conditions because regardless of the temperature, rabbits love to cuddle and they can overheat themselves and kill themselves from cuddling. 
I bet you didn't know you could kill yourself from cuddling. So, oh, uh, eight. I find that just by the fact of being on the grass, there is an evaporative effect and a cooling effect from the dirt, from the grass, from the moisture in the, le in the, in the grass leaves. I find that it's much cooler. Have you ever sat at your kid's baseball game on the bleachers? It, even if you have shade, it is extremely hot. But if you just go plunk yourself on the grass, so much cooler. Tip number nine, we're gonna throw this back in here. A fan, a fan, a fan, a fan. A fan can replace a lot of shade, water bottles, towels, frozen food. A fan drastically improves the quality of rabbit's life. Unfortunately, I only have one extension cord and I break fans every year. I usually go through about two at $20 to $40 a pop. Fans. So, uh, there's other tips like following the shade of your house. I don't, I don't have that here so much. Like it's not an option. Um, you can move your rabbits in and out from the shade. So on really hot days, uh, they'll start when it's cooler. They'll start out on the edges by the sidewalks and the driveway and stuff. And then I'll move them in uh, to the shade during the hottest part of the days. And then when it cools off, I will move them back out. Um, so those are my tips, my tips for keeping your rabbits cool while tractoring them in the summer. Now, it is kind of cluttery out here, and that will be in my next video, which talks about the pros and cons of tractoring your rabbits. Okay, guys, take care and grow something today, even if it's yourself. Oh, they just keep coming to me. Uh, sometimes if it's really hot, I will run the sprinklers over them just to take the temperature down in the air just a little bit. It'll soak the trampoline cover. It's not absorbent. It'll soak the towels. It'll soak the air around them. I don't want to spray into them because you never really want to get your rabbits wet to cool them off. You could probably get their ears wet if it was like a heat stress type of thing, but rabbits in general, they, it's not going to cool them off. It's going to stress them out if you soak their fur. So, uh, just overhead a little bit.